Network. Plus, all new episodes of Jamie Kennedy and Off Center. And now, Family Affair. If you're waiting to use the restroom, there are three and three quarter others located conveniently throughout the premises. I know. I'm just waiting for Mrs. Beasley. Mrs. Beasley? Your dolly? She's inside doing her business. Oh, I'm sure she is. I expect she's untangling her hair or changing her stuffing. Or better yet, giving herself a little facial with a lint brush. You sure got a crazy imagination, Mr. French. Well, thank you. Excuse me. Family Affair is brought to you by Jason. <laughs> and how is everybody's breakfast? Fresh and delicious as always. Yeah, Mr. French, your breakfasts are way better than the toaster tarts and grape soda we had back in Indiana. Yes, well, the Hoosiers set very high standards. <laughs> I like my pancakes bigger and puffier. Well, I'll bear that in mind next time I make pancakes. Those were crepes. So next time, can you make them bigger and puffier? Um, no. All right, everyone, we're a bit behind this morning. So, Sissy, if you would help Miss Buffy and Master Jody wash up before school, it would be greatly appreciated. Come on, buddy. What about Uncle Bill? <sighs> That's OK, honey. I started washing myself last week. Come on, you. Puffier crepes. Next time, it'll be super-sized toast points. Mm. Oh. oh, splendid. One of New York's winged rats. Shoop! Ooga booga 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 booga! Oh. French, where are my Tiffany cufflinks? Next to the money clip, sir. Got them. Super. Jolly good. <laughs> Have you seen a doll fall from the sky and land on the sidewalk? I haven't been outside in half an hour. I need that doll, man. Well, I'll keep an eye out. What's it look like? Well, it has hair. It has, um, 
sort of a face, and, um, it's hatless. <laughs> no, yes, it's hatless. Well, I'll tell you what, if I see one with or without a hat, I'll give you a buzz. Bert, there's an extra thick envelope for you at the holidays. And speaking of hats, keep this under yours. Not a word to Miss Buffy. Splendid. If, if you could just escort them to the lobby and wait for their bus, I'd be so much obliged. Geez, French. Slacker much? Please. I'm in a sort of a bind at the moment. Okay, but this time it's gonna cost ya. Yes, well, I'm in your debt. <laughs> oh, Mr. French, where's Mrs. Beasley? But, but, who? Mrs. Beasley. Mrs. Beasley? Oh, yes. She's once again in the powder room. She said she had some more business to attend to, but rest assured, she'll be eagerly awaiting your arrival home in her usual spot on the bed. Now, hurry along. You don't want to be late. His nose is really twitching that time. <laughs> Mr. Davis, something terrible has occurred. Mrs. Beasley has fallen from the terrace. Did I know her? Well, send her family a card and some pie. It's Buffy's doll, sir. Oh, that Mrs. Beasley. Well, it's just a doll. Kids lose dolls, she's got other dolls. No, 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 no. Mrs. Beasley is not just a doll. She's the key to that child's emotional stability. Adding this loss to Buffy's already extensive emotional baggage could push her over the edge into a life of crime and, and vagabondry. I think you're being a bit dramatic. I beg to differ, sir. Remember the time she fell and skinned her knee and was inconsolable until she got home to Mrs. Beasley? Yeah. It's like somebody flipped a switch. It has been the only constant in her life up to now. That doll is Buffy's touchstone. Okay, I'll tell you what. On the way to my office, there's that big toy store. We pick up another Mrs. Beasley and have her back before Buffy gets home from school. And you're sure we can find an exact match? <sighs> Please, it's a doll. How many dolls can there be in the world? Apparently enough for five aisles, sir. Welcome to Toy Pavilion. My name is Jay. How may I provide you with excellent service? We're looking for a doll. We have them all. Her name is Mrs. Beasley. Nobody makes a doll called Mrs. Beasley. Well, yes, they do. The little girl we're shopping for refers to her doll as Mrs. Beasley. Nobody makes a doll called Mrs. Beasley. What makes you so sure? I've been the manager of this department for 11 years. I was keynote speaker at last year's Barbie Fest. The license plate on my Saturn says doll crazy. <laughs> Nobody makes a doll called Mrs. Beasley. Well, if you're such an expert, hmm. what can you tell us about this doll? Oh, <laughs> Tina the ballerina. Created in 1964 by Esther Fields, was modeled after a granddaughter who later sued for royalties. Esther was estranged from the family and died a lonely alcoholic in a nursing home, ages four and up. <laughs> Nobody makes a doll called Mrs. Beasley. Why don't we just buy a few dolls that come close to Mrs. Beasley and then have Sissy come home and narrow it down? But, sir, look at this place. Where do we begin? One of everything, please. I can't believe you lost Mrs. Beasley. And yet, here we are. So, if you could just indicate Mrs. Beasley's twin, we can get on with our lives. None of them. None? Come along, concentrate. Well, that one's got the right arms. If you could give her the legs from that one and the hair from that one and that head over there, you might be able to pass her off as Mrs. Beasley's trailer park half-sister. <laughs> so be it. <laughs> OK, now, which one of you had the arms? French, we don't have time to perform doll surgery. Buffy's going to be home hey! in... Hey! Right now. Dolly! Wait till they meet Mrs. Beasley. Um, listen, Buffy, uh, there's, uh, there's something I want to tell you, okay? See, we, well, earlier, right after breakfast, um, the, uh, French? <laughs> Well, um, yes.
how to say this. Um, there's been a bit of an accident. You peed your pants? Mm, no, Master Jody. Not yet. It's rather difficult to say. For me. Um. Buffy. Listen. Mrs. Beasley got lost, and we can't find her right now. Where did she go? We. We don't know, but we are all going to do everything we can to find her. <laughs> Mrs. Beasley can't be gone. She's my best friend. Don't worry, honey. We're going to find her. I promise. See what you've done? Did you manage to console Buffy, sir? I couldn't get her to come out from under her covers. I'm not even sure I was talking to her head. Oh, it's all my fault. Oh, come on, friend. She didn't mean to do it. But I did it, sir. And a little girl's heart has been broken. Well... Don't worry about it. I'm going to find that doll. Whatever it takes, I'm going to find that doll. Well, if anyone can do it, sir, you can. In the meantime, sir, would you mind if I had a word with Miss Buffy? Well, be my guess, but if you're thinking about using your hand as a puppet and talking in a high voice, doesn't work. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, sir. Come on, Buffy, look. I'm doing a booty dance. Shaking my booty, 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 shaking my booty. Nothing's working, Mr. Friends. Then rest your weary booty, child. Go and cheer up your Uncle Bill. First, I'd like to offer my sincere apologies and heartfelt condolences on the recent departure of your friend. I know this must be a very trying time for you, as it is for everyone whose life she touched. Please speak to me. I'm as upset about Mrs. Beasley as you are. Really? Yes, very much so. Mrs. Beasley's never been alone in a big city before. I know. But she's a resourceful old girl. And if you're going to be worried about anyone, it should be the unfortunate fellow who dares to tangle with Mrs. Beasley. Mr. French, will I ever see Mrs. Beasley again? Your uncle is doing everything in his power to locate her. And believe me, he's very capable at that sort of thing. <sighs> This is hopeless. Would you relax? Brown hair, floral print dress. If that doll's out there, it'll be on this website. Which website? Some doll-obsessed employee at a toy store built a photo database of every doll ever made. If it isn't on here, then Miss Beasley never existed. Glasses, blue eyes, and search. We're never going to find her. There she is. Thanks for not giving up, Uncle Bill. <sighs> Miss Curly Boots, created by Zappy Toys right here in the city. Miss Curly Boots was introduced in 1966 in a limited run and has been out of production ever since. 36 years ago? What in the world was Buffy doing with a doll that old? Oh, you didn't know? She was our mom's. Well, terrific. That lightens the load. I have got to get that doll. I'm going to download this picture and show it around the neighborhood. See if anybody's seen her. Couldn't hurt. And while you're covering that, I'm going to get us another Mrs. Beasley. How? They don't make him anymore. Sissy, in this world, everything can be gotten for a price. Yeah, in Manhattan. Zappy 
toys. No, perfectly clear. Thanks. You've been very helpful. No, thank you very much. So does Miss Beasley have a price? As a matter of fact, she does. Zappy Toys is willing to restrike the mold, set up production in Korea, and make me as many Mrs. Beasleys as I want. For $200,000. It'll take 10 months, which is about nine months and 29 days too long. Well, it was sweet of you to try. You think a pony would fix this? I don't know. Do you have a pony that belonged to our mom when she was a kid? Don't worry. Mr. French made flyers. We're going to go out and put them up. Come here, sweetie. Uh, listen. I know that you're really sad right now. But sometimes, when you're sad about the things that you don't have, it helps to think about the things that you do have. You know, like... Like me, and Sissy, and Jody, and Mr. French, and all. And this. Who's that? This is Mookie. He used to belong to your dad when we were little kids. Really? Yeah. And then when your dad got a little older, he gave him to me. Then I know that Mrs. Beasley used to belong to your mom, so it's... It's kind of like Mrs. Beasley and Mookie are cousins. You can see a little resemblance in the eyes. A little bit. Yeah. So, Mookie's been in this box hibernating for a pretty long time. And he heard about what happened, and he was hoping that he could be your friend. Does he like dressing up for tea parties? He says he loves tea parties. Okay. I guess I could be his friend. Great. <laughs> you know, your dad and I mostly use them as a football, so tea parties would probably be a big step up. Mookie wants to know if you'll have a tea party with us. Now? Uh-huh. Okay. That would be fun. It's times like this I regret living in a city of eight million people. We've barely covered half of our zip code. It's all your fault. <laughs> if only the doll was lost in a small fishing village. Population eight. At its center, a crusty old seafarer who knows everyone. We'd give him the flyer and, and take a puff on his... You need to eat something. Well, yes, I suppose I do need a restorative. You want me to get you a pretzel? Oh, yes, please, and a soda. Oh, good heavens, look. Yeah, they got Italian ices. No, no, up a bit, up. Is that Mrs. Beasley? Oh, indeed it is. I'd recognize that hatless head anywhere. <laughs> hey, well, be. Good afternoon, young man. We'd like a pretzel, a soda, and that doll, please. Pretzel, bing, soda, bop. Doll, not for sale. Oh, nonsense. Everything's for sale. Everything but that doll. Ever since I found it, I've had nothing but good luck. Two minutes after I picked the thing up, my biggest competition across the street gets clipped by a bus. He'll be out for weeks. All right. I'll offer you $100. Fine. But you won't get the doll. $200. I've grown very attached to her. Very well. $250. That's my final reasonable offer. Survey says... That's my little sister's doll. She lost it, and she really needs it back. Oh, look. You're making me tear up. You insensitive louts. Come on, come on. You're holding up the line. You leave me no alternative. Run. Ah! 
$250 should be worth the trouble and a pretzel. Mmm, Buffett's. Delicious tea. What kind is it? Bacon. Guess who we have? An old friend of yours. Mrs. Beasley. I miss you so much. How'd you find her? Let's just say we couldn't have done it without a little teamwork. Why does Mrs. Beasley smell like sauerkraut? Well, apparently, in her travels, she acquired a taste for New York City hot dogs. <laughs> How about that? Now you got two best friends. You can't have two best friends, Uncle Bill. Oh. Well, Mook, what do you say? You want to hang with me? I'll take him. All right, go along. <laughs> All right, not to worry. We know the routine. I'll take the stairwell, you print the flyers. time ago in a new comedy critics call awesome it's the opening of the empire strikes back one 34 year old is trapped in his own past hey with a little insight into the future the big secret is don't our way Morgan. brilliant hey. the critics are raving what i like about you is messy and smart this is the 18. on the WB Friday. Reba's all new with Ben and Cheyenne growing up. We are adults. Yeah, we can vote. I mean, we didn't, but we could. <laughs> An all new episode of Reba, followed by the new hit comedy, Greetings from Tucson. You're in my chair. How come any chair that I pick is your chair? Oh, I'm sorry. Which one did you pay for? <laughs> Don't miss an all-new Greetings from Tucson right after an all-new Reba on the WB Friday night. Hey, watch the fraud.